I'm Brittany, this is Eddie, and welcome to Gay Watch, where we watch gay things. Today is episode five of Sense8. The best girls have gotten out of the worst hospital. Our wonderful, beloved gay couple continues to have a very unpredictable relationship with their beard, and it's going to explode in some horrible way that I can't possibly foresee. <coughs> And the valid heteros have now met, kind of, shared a song, what have you. And then there's also about, I don't know, a million other things going on. And so I'm just going to hit play and we're going to keep finding out. There are tons of reasons why films have to shoot out of order. As an actor... He would know that, you know, maybe he's just in a bad mood and he's being whiny and that's okay. But there are actually tons of valid reasons. The first one off the top of my head, off the top of my head is just like location availability. And when you can book certain things to go and film at certain days, you know, you can't always, in fact, rarely ever, you know, book them all in this nice sequential order. You have to just take it when you can get it. But again, he's probably just in a bad mood and he's just looking to bitch about something. I feel a little bit bloated today. Oh, you look fantastic, Little. Come on. I feel you. Oh my god! You're kidding! A fucking court! I didn't know that. Okay, funniest point of contact goes to who the fuck has that kind of art just behind? I'd start running now, Wolfgang. Just run, just run. Don't think we don't see the parallel of the uncle and the fucking tiger. speak English? Oh, yes. I speak very good English. Why is this so wholesome? I would die for them. I would I like fucking it. die for them. Bluff. Bluff, man. You gotta bluff your ass off. Destroy him. Play it up, man. <laughs> Don't follow through. Because you can't. <laughs> We are hormonal right now. Hey, hey, incorrect, man. A crying man or a crying character under the right. You don't. That's crying's hot. I'm just saying. I mean, granted, context, you know, matters, but. My dead won't be the first we take. I wouldn't have guessed that administration would have pushed him into an existential crisis, and yet I feel him so hard in this moment. I think uh, you were the first in the family, in fact, to marry for love. <laughs> like <many laughs> <things> <laughs> Never have I seen oh! God! Oh! I just want to visit Seoul for fuck's sake. Like, God. Uh, I seen you with your fucking bit of mustache. Fuck! Calm down. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. There's, there's a crying Korean woman. I'm not crying. This may just be filthy Americans, and like in Europe, people aren't this shitty. But like, kudos on him for nailing the fact that she was Korean rather than just being like, she's Asian or just like getting it wrong and being like this Chinese woman or, you know, nailed, nailed it. One try. Americans can't do that, man. Clever. You're dead. You're a dead man. Most of it is illegal. God only knows what's really inside that. 
Nomi. What? Not Michael. Her name is Nomi. Yes! Something happened when I walked over here, didn't it? What? <sighs> okay, we already knew that she was the best girlfriend ever. But the very, like, sitting down. Okay, this thing is happening to you. Tell me what it is. Let's figure it out. Let's do this together. I believe you. <sighs> Impossibility is a kiss away from reality. That is going right up there with one of the greatest quotes of film in all time, which is hilarious because it comes from Men in Black of all places. But if you've seen it, then you know exactly what I'm about to say. He goes through, one of the characters goes through a whole thing about, you know, aliens and how aliens have been here like since forever. And he goes through this whole thing, but like, but you didn't know. So like, you know, two weeks ago, you knew this. And like one week ago, you knew this. And like just an hour ago, you knew that aliens were not on this planet. Imagine what you'll know tomorrow, right? That has been one of my favorite lines in anything ever since forever because it speaks just volumes about everything in existence. That line has just, I, I now have two favorite lines about just life, the universe, and everything. One from Men in Black and one from Sense8. Holy fucking God. Good. Kala, you are beautiful. Yes, yeah, she is. Woo, yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah. 